Hello basketball players, welcome to another session. Today's class is going to be predominantly based on the floor, so just make sure you're on a comfortable surface and we're gonna be working on a little bit of mobility, a little bit of flexibility, as well as some flow. So I really hope you enjoy this session. If you do, please don't forget to give it a little thumbs up, hit subscribe below, and check out the other basketball specific classes for you. We're gonna start in a child's pose today. So bringing the big toes together, take the knees out wide or keep them narrow, however you prefer to take it. Have a little wriggle through the hips. Stretching out the arms and then resting the forehead down onto the mat. So if your head doesn't reach the floor, you can use your hand as a little pillow. And just give yourself a few moments to settle. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. <sighs> nice, big, full. Three-dimensional three breath. And release. Wonderful. So we're going to start with flow. So let's stretch both hands out in front if they aren't there already. As you inhale, you're going to round the back forwards, coming to all forwards. And as you exhale, we're going to slowly lower down, elbows hugging the ribs. As you inhale, lifting the chest, any amount that feels good. And as you exhale, lower down and then come back to a child's pose. On an in-breath, we're going to come up onto the knees, drag the hands towards you and then up and overhead. And as you exhale, coming back down to child's pose. So that's one flow and we're going to roll through that. So inhaling, rounding forwards. Exhaling to lower. Nice and mindful. Inhale, lift in the chest. Exhale, lower. Come back to child's pose. Inhale, up onto the knees. Stretch the arms up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Lovely. Inhale, round. Use your breath. Exhale. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. Take it back to child's pose. Inhale, come up onto those knees. Stretch the arms up. Exhale, lower. Nice. Make one breath melt into the neck. So as you inhale, round it forwards. As soon as the exhale comes, we lower. Inhale, lift. Maybe you're getting a little higher now. As you exhale, lower. Back to child's pose. Inhale, up onto those knees. Fill up with the breath. Exhale, lowering all the way down. Let's do one more. Inhale, round forwards. Exhale, empty. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower back to child's pose. And then on your in-breath, slowly come all the way up. Reach on up. And as you exhale, slowly coming back to child's pose. Then from here, we're going to come forwards to all fours. Spread fingers wide, tuck toes, coming into a downward facing dog. So just starting to feel out the back of the legs. Maybe you take a little pedal through the feet, shake out through the head. Hmm. Wonderful. Good. Have a little look at your feet. Make sure they're about hip width or maybe a touch wider. Soften your knees and then walk in the hands back to your feet. And come into a nice ragdoll forward fold. So a nice generous bend in the knees. Grab opposite elbows and just let your head hang. a little sway side to side and imagine your head really heavy so you get that nice release in the upper back lovely bringing the fingertips down 
We're gonna walk the hands out this time to a high plank and press the floor away in your high plank. Squeeze your glutes. Nice strong legs. Take a nice big breath. And then as you exhale, we're gonna lower down to our tummy. So slowly, slowly lowering all the way down. Untuck the toes, slide your hands forwards. So your elbows are gonna be underneath your shoulders into this Sphinx pose back bend. So press into your forearms and imagine you're dragging your hands back towards you. Feel that nice opening in the chest. Lovely, breathe into that lower back compression. You're welcome to stay here. Some of us might go a little bit higher with this. So taking the hands out a bit wider, straightening up the arms. You wanna keep your pubic bone on the floor. And if this feels too much or it gets, feels kind of stressful, just come down lower. Lovely deep breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna take our elbows wide, make a little pillow for our head with our hands and then lift the feet, and then just let the feet drop from side to side, so a gentle release and twist for the back. Beautiful, lovely. Dropping the feet down, come back to your forearms, and you're gonna roll onto your left side. So onto that left side, stay on the forearm, and then with the top leg, you're gonna catch either the top of the foot or the ankle, and take a quad stretch. So you might want to bend the bottom knee just for balance. Nice, push your hip forward and slightly tuck your tailbone under. You're gonna feel a lovely stretch here. Lovely, nice big breath. As you exhale, release that foot. You're gonna straighten out both legs, flex the feet and engage your legs. Coming onto the hand of the bottom hand, just feeling that little stretch through the side body and then we're gonna come up into a plank from here. So take a breath and as you exhale, push those hips up, reaching that top hand up into your plank. Squeezing the glutes, keeping the legs engaged. Nice big breath. As you exhale, draw the top leg up towards your chest, and then you're gonna step this right foot next to your front hand, <laughs> so we're in this twist. Perfect, drop the back knee down, untuck the toe, and then bring in both hands onto that right knee, coming into a hip flexor stretch. Nice, so slightly tone your lower belly so we're not fully like dumping down into it. Imagine you were slightly tucking your tailbone under, it'll give you a little bit more. Lovely deep breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna bring our hands to the inside of that front foot. This is a little bit of a funky transition. So tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. We're gonna swivel on the outside edge of both feet. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning until you sit your bottom down. And then this pose is called half shoelace. So your right leg is stacked right on top of the left. You want this foot right up to the side of your hip. Beautiful, take a nice big breath. And then as you exhale, folding over the leg. So it should feel um, like a big hamstring stretch for this bottom leg. And you're getting a bit of an outer hip stretch as well. Lovely deep breath in. Long breath out. Slowly coming back up, if you're folded over, you're gonna turn to face the front edge of your mat, come back the way you came. So twist, twist, twist into this lunge position. And then we're gonna step back to downward facing dog. Press the earth away. 
Lovely, good. Inhale, ripple forwards to a higher plank. Hold it here. Strong through the legs, pressing the floor away. Lovely, deep breath. And then as you exhale, we're going to lower all the way to our tummy. So nice and slow, elbows hug the ribs all the way down with control. Untuck the toes, slide your forearms forwards. This time we're going to roll to our right side. Bend the bottom knee for balance. And then from here, bend into the top knee, catch top of the foot or the ankle to go for that quad stretch. Pressing the hips forwards. Keep the breath nice and deep. On your next exhalation, releasing the foot. Straighten out both legs, flex the feet, prepare yourself. Coming onto the right hand. And then when you feel ready, inhale, lifting up the hips, lifting up that top hand, find your balance, side plank. Good, breathing in. As you exhale, slowly slide the top knee up to the chest and then step that left foot next to your front hand. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe and then bringing the hands up onto the thigh. Lovely. Give yourself a moment to feel it out if you want to come kind of in and out of it. And then slightly drawing the lower belly in, a little tuck of the tailbone. Nice, relax your shoulders. Take a nice big breath. As you exhale, we're going to bring both hands down to the inside of that front foot. Tuck the back toes, lifting that back knee. We're going to turn to the left. So turning in towards that front knee. Keep turning, keep turning. Trust the process until you sit your bottom down. And then the uh, right leg, sorry, the left leg is all the way on top of the right this time. Flex the toes of the bottom foot. Fold over. Now for this one, you don't really need to fold all that much to feel quite a deep stretch. So just go easy with it. Lovely deep breath in. Exhale. Wonderful. Slowly coming back up and you're going to come back the way we came. So turning to the right. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Trust the process. <laughs> back the way you came. Stepping to downward facing dog. We'll meet there. Just notice how the backs of the legs are feeling now. Wonderful. As you inhale, let's come forward to high plank and then lower all the way to the tummy. This time we're going to take our arms out, palms facing down. So you've got enough space here. You're going to start with your left ear down and then bend the right knee. The right toe is going to reach for the left little finger and opposite side. So we're going to flow through this, opening up the shoulders, getting a nice twist through the middle back. Use gravity to your advantage here. So really just let that top leg pull back with gravity. Hopefully you've got a little bit more space than I do. <laughs> Wonderful. And then we'll all come back through centre. Hands underneath the shoulders. Big toes together. Let's press it back to a child's pose. So maybe taking the knees wide. Settling into child's pose. Hmm. Wonderful. Let's walk the hands back towards us. Come into a kneeling position. If this isn't comfortable, you can sit some other way. But otherwise, see if you can get as comfortable as you can here. 
interlace your fingers and then press the backs of the hands forwards, chin to chest, rounding the back. Take some nice big breaths into the upper back. Wonderful, and then lifting the head, spin your hands around so the palms are out, and then take them all the way overhead, stretch the arms up. If you feel like taking a little bit of a wriggle here, if that feels good. Lovely, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, release your hands, but take them behind you. Interlace the fingers once more. Draw the knuckles down, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your heart. Nice awakening pose. Lovely deep breath in. And as you exhale, release. Relax your hands onto your knees or your thighs. So you can be cross-legged or kneeling. Remember if you need to change. Relax your hands. We're just going to take a couple of rolls through the neck. So just winding out. Any tension. And just listening in to what the body feels like. Wonderful, good. And then bringing that to a stop. Find a nice tall spine. Relax your hands, relax your shoulders. We're going to finish with some breath work before we get on with the rest of our day. So you're welcome to keep your eyes closed. We're going to be inhaling for a count of four and exhaling for a count of six. And this is a beautiful, calming breath. It's really nice um, to prepare ourselves for the rest of the day. So take a regular breath in through the nose and a regular breath out. And we shall begin breathing in through the nose for one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, Four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Last one. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, and six. Notice how you feel now. Bring the hands together in prayer at heart centre. And take a moment to thank your body for all that it does for you. And then take a moment to thank yourself for carving out the time and the effort to practice today. When you're ready, slowly open the eyes and welcome yourself back into the rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this practice today. I really, really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next session very soon. Bye.